Don't come over here. I'm going to get you right over here. Your rain sign. You got to wind and squeeze them in. Y'all squeeze in. Very crowded. Very crowded. Can y'all see everybody? Okay. So fight. You know, you can tell your professor back here. Absolutely. I guess we're skipping out on the Extra credit. Get that A plus. Come on in. You're a Rand Paul supporter. Come in here. Otherwise, you're just in the reception room of the RPT. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with not having enough room. That's always a good result. <laughs> Trying to squeeze as many people in as possible. And that's Don Huffines, Texas Senator. <laughs> It's like, Rachel, come on. Senator What's your hand signal? I know of it. Hey, you need to make it. You you're closer up. Let me take your side. No, no, I'm not allowed to. You're too far. Out, you're too far out of the camera shot. <laughs> All right. Well, good afternoon, Rand Paul supporters. Yay! In this a fantastic turnout, where we're in the home state of some other candidates that won't be named, right? Yeah. <laughs> Because Austin is the capital for liberty, and we've got liberty lovers here for our candidate. Amen. Amen. So I'm Steve Munisteri. I was the three-time elected state chairman of the Republican Party of Texas, and I resigned in March to work for a man who I've known for over 40 years, who I think is the most principled, intelligent lover of liberty and the best hope our country has, Rand Paul, to work for him for President of the United States of America. Yay! Yay! Today we're here to make a statement that after we do really well in Iowa and well in New Hampshire, we plan to cruise into here in Texas on March 1st. I don't know if you saw the poll today in CBS, but we're in fifth place, ahead of Chris Christie, ahead of John Kasich, ahead of the $100 million man Jeb Bush, and we did it on a whole lot less money than that. That's right. So uh, I can tell you that uh, we have a fantastic ground game in Iowa and New Hampshire. If you look at most of the polls, they will tell you that they only 
uh, poll registered voters or people that have been in the past. A huge portion of our support is on the campuses. We have 15 students for RAN chapters just in Iowa alone. We've already signed up over 5,000 students in Iowa that say they're going to caucus uh, for RAND. It's our goal to be up to 10,000. At every event we've gone to, the senator is asked, have any of y'all been polled? None of them have been. <laughs> we like that. Keeps the expectations low. Allows us to beat them. Uh, we are not allowed to talk to our super PACs, but we can monitor press reports and media buying. And I can tell you just in the last week that two of our super PACs bought a million dollars worth of ads in Iowa and New Hampshire. So as Mark Twain would say, the rumors of our demise were a little bit premature. <laughs> That's right. And we have assembled a really good team in Texas. I'm going to introduce them and then have them uh, say a few words. First, we, we, are, we are so grateful that one of the preeminent lovers of liberty, conservative state senators, uh, Donald Huffines, right here, has agreed to be the state chairman of RAND for president in Texas. Uh, and I'm going to have him say a few words, but before I do, I want to introduce a couple other people. Uh, Mary Jane Smith is going to be our statewide Texas political director. I will tell you that I learned most of what I know about grassroots walking and phone banking as a teenager. I'm dating you, Mary Jane. You're going to get yes. mad at me. Yes. As a teenager uh, from Mary Jane's campaigns, I've worked in about 20 of them, including the fact that she managed Ron, six of Ron Paul's campaign. And I will tell you something that you give Bye. everybody, everybody encouragement. The very first one I went to work for, he had zero chance of winning, everybody said. He was running against state senators and four or five other people. It was his special election in April of 1976. And the woman that engineered the upset win for Ron Paul and sent him to Congress was another other than Mary J. Smith. So she has agreed to come on uh, and help us out again. And uh, in addition, we have Rachel Kanye here is from our Austin office. Way, Rachel. So uh, you know that we're serious about it. You have a state party chairman, state senator, 40 year or some veteran. Uh, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to the chairman of the Rand Paul for Texas campaign, Senator Don Huffines, who in a few moments will be handling our filing fee to Kyle Watley from the state party. Senator? Oh, thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Look, I want to thank everybody for coming today. This is a great event for the state of Texas and for the United States of America. I stand with Rand. Rand's a native Texan, born and raised, as you know, in Texas. Went, graduated from high school here, went to Baylor University. And Rand is a conservative. He's a constitutional conservative Republican. And he's going to deliver on his message of prosperity, peace, and liberty for all Americans. And I am so honored to have the opportunity to represent him. I've known him for many years, and it is just a thrill to be able to, to campaign for him and work with him. And I'm, again, so happy that all you guys came today. And we're going to have a great campaign going forward. And we're going to work hard to get every single delegate in the state of Texas. In the, because Rand knows Texas. He knows how important Texas is. And he is going to do what he needs to do to win every delegate from this state to be the next president. Thank you. Woo! Mary Jane, Thank you. this is our tactical general, and I tell you, she will put you to work. Right. And and I'm very really happy to be here. I've done several statewide campaigns. Uh, before my son was born, I was working for a guy named Ronald Reagan who said he can never win in Texas. He carried 100% of the delegates. Wow. And then in, uh, when, in eight, I think it was in 84, I was very involved with Ron Paul's U.S. Senate race in 88 with the Jack Kemp campaign. Uh, didn't go, reach all the way it should did, but I know Texas politics. And I know the name of our game is to get delegates. Forget everything else. Delegates. That's how it counts. It is to our benefit to have multiple candidates on the ballot. The way the Texas laws are written, getting delegates from the congressional districts, and we will discuss all of that later. There's something I go to always remembering about Rand Paul. I want to elect a Republican for president. Ooh, I am sick yes. and tired, of, and I'm sure all of you are, our country is, what's going on now? And I think Rand Paul is the man who is best electable. And he is the man who can unite Republicans, independents, libertarians. 
all freedom lovers will rally behind him more than any other candidate. That's why I love this man. And I'm inviting every one of you to join with us in fighting to get him delegates from Texas. That is the name of our game. Thank you. And with that, we ask Kyle Watley, the Executive Director of the Republican Party of Texas, and we're going to do a photo op with okay. our Texas chairman. And we're going to hand it to you, be on the side. Okay, here we go. Where's Rachel? There's Rachel okay. right there. Okay. This is for Kyle. Okay, Kyle, here you go. Here's the application. To be on the ballot for President of the United States for Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky. And here is his money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> so, two other announcements. If anybody wants to volunteer, give your name to Rachel or Mary Jane. And for those of you in the press, uh, Rand Paul's team here, Senator Huffines, myself, Mary Jane, Rachel, we're happy to answer any questions. The party has just asked if we answer your questions that we move over here so we don't have the party symbol as if they are endorsing Rand Paul. Of course, they will after he's the nominee. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is welcome to hang around while we're still here answering questions, but uh, if you're not uh, going to hang around, we thank you for being here. And you can just tell, we put this together in about, what, Rachel, 72 hours, 48 hours? And just I'm telling people on Facebook, you know, we packed the room and... From all accounts, we had more people than Jeb Bush and, T and Heidi Cruz. So thank you all. <laughs> thank you all for being here. And if the press has any questions, we're happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you for staying with Yes. Does the press have any questions? Okay. And we're going to end this broadcast. Thanks for watching. I'll try to find a way to upload this to YouTube. Okay.